Long ago, during the era of Lao Tzu in ancient China, in a small rural village there lived an old farmer. He had tended to his land for many years, sowing and harvesting, in tune with the rhythm of the seasons. His life, much like his crops, was a cycle of growth, bloom and renewal. One calm morning, as the sun rose painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, the farmer discovered that his horse had run away. This horse was not just a beast of burden, it was a companion to the solitary farmer, sharing years of toil and solitude. The news quickly spread through the village, and by noon a group of neighbors had gathered at his small farm. Such bad luck, they exclaimed in unison, shaking their heads in sympathy. Your only horse gone just before the planting season. Maybe, the farmer replied, his voice steady, his eyes reflecting neither despair nor distress. The very next morning, the village was astir with surprising news. The farmer's horse had returned and it was not alone. It had brought with it three wild horses. The news spread like wildfire and the neighbors once again gathered around the farmer. How wonderful, they cheered, their faces bright with excitement. Fortune has smiled upon you. Maybe, the farmer responded, watching the wild horses with an unreadable expression. The following day held yet another turn of events. The farmer's son, eager to help, attempted to tame one of the wild horses. The horse, unaccustomed to human touch, reacted wildly, throwing the young man to the ground, resulting in a broken leg. The news of the accident reached the neighbors, and they came to offer their sympathies. Bad luck again, they said, their voices low and somber. Your son, injured and unable to help with the farm. Maybe, answered the farmer as he gently nursed his son's injury. The very next day, military officials arrived in the village. All the young men of the town were forcibly taken for the military, but only the old man's son was left because he had a broken leg. The neighbors, hearing of this, rushed to the farmer's side. How well things have turned out for you, they exclaimed. Your son, spared from the draft. Maybe, said the farmer, his gaze drifting towards the horizon. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the farmer's response to his ever-changing circumstances became a topic of discussion and reflection among the villagers. The wild horses, once untamed, became valuable assets to the farm. In our lives, we often try to control what happens, thinking about what would be good or bad. We get really happy when things go as planned and feel down when they don't. However, it's hard to know for sure if something will turn out well or not. Like in the story of the wise farmer, what seems good now might cause problems later and what seems bad might be helpful later on. The farmer didn't judge what happened, he just accepted it. This acceptance, or equanimity, is the best kind of happiness. Remember, we can't change what happened, but we can change how we feel and not get on the emotional roller coaster. So to stay happy in life, don't rush to judge things. What feels like bad luck today might turn out to be good for you tomorrow. 